Welcome to PokerToast.com. This is an overview video of what you can do at PokerToast.com. To get started, click on the toaster. The toaster is an equity tool that calculates equity and also other information about poker hands using combinations. This tool works for any game in the variety of poker games known as horse, that is Hold'em, Omaha, Raz, Stud, Eight or Better, Eight or Better Stud, as well as Eight or Better Omaha style. To use this tool, start with the controls in the upper left in this black area. Select the number of players that you'd like in the hand, and then click Start. If at any time you want to exit the tool, just click this button in the upper right and you will exit the tool and the information that you had will no longer be there when you open it back up. So make sure that if you do exit, that you're ready to exit. We won't go over every detail in the tool in this video. I just wanna give you a sense of what you can do using this tool. You can choose random cards to have cards randomly assigned to yourself, the hero, or your opponents. And if you click here, you can see information about your hand. If you click here, you can see which player this represents. And if you'd like to start over, just go ahead and click the Start Over button, and everything will be reset. Instead of clicking random cards, you can go down here and click the cards themselves to go ahead and select the cards that you'd like. or uh, maybe we want three players. By selecting a different number of players or a different game, it will also be the same as if you click Start Over while also changing that value. So for example, selecting three players and hold them, will reset the tool or changing the game to something like Raz will also reset the tool. Now it takes a little while to calculate combinations for a game like uh, Hold'em is pretty fast, Raz is a little bit slower. Um, a game like Omaha or Eight or Better Omaha will take a little bit of time to generate the data for the game. There are hundreds of thousands of combinations in a game like Omaha. So when you do select it, it might lag for just a minute. That's normal, just let it go. The browser uh, might give you a message that says it's waiting. Just let that message uh, stay up there and it will disappear when it's finished calculating the combinations. There's that message, for example. So we'll just wait until it finishes calculating. It shouldn't be more than maybe 30 seconds on an average computer. If you do click uh, wait, that's fine. That message will just disappear. There we go. Okay, for this video then, we're going to work with uh, Hold'em because it's more familiar and it won't take quite as long to generate some of the scenarios that we're going to take a look at. Okay, so uh, if you do want to instead of having two players, which is the required minimum, if you do wanna just look at one single range of cards and you don't want to simulate a hero as well as an opponent, when you select the cards, just click ignore. And that takes the hero out of it and leaves any other opponents that you had selected. For our purposes, we're going to keep the hero and we're just going to assign them random cards. In this top section, uh, in the middle, this dark gray area, you've got some filters. On the left are filters that depend on which player you select here. And on the right are filters that you can select that don't depend on which player you have selected. Together, this entire uh, dark gray area is a filter and you can make some choices for that. And when you're finished, uh, you can click this add filter green uh, arrow that points to the right and it will add it to the list of filters shown here in the light gray on the right side. For an example, um, you can change the strength of hand that your opponent uh, has that you want to assume that they have in their range. We'll pick say top 20%. And the light blue is the area that we're selecting here. If you double click on the bar, it will change to be between the slider knobs. And if you double click again, 
it will change it to be the outside. We're going to leave this one at 100, which means that there's nothing to the right of it. And we're just going to have the light blue to the left of the 20, which is the strongest 20% of the opponent's range. You can name your filter here. If you forget to name it, that's OK. When you click Add Filter, it will prompt you. So we'll just call it Top 20. You can change the logic that's applied to all the filters that you add to your filter list by clicking this logic button. It can be and logic, which means all combos and top 20 must both be true. It can be or logic, so that if all combos or top 20 is true, either one of those satisfies the list of filters. Or you can choose custom logic and use the numbers shown here, like one and two, and type them in this box using only the numbers, such as one, two, uh, or more, if there are using uh, keywords and or spaces between everything and parentheses to group things together as you would like. I'm going to leave it on and logic. I'm just going to delete this all combos. It doesn't hurt anything to have it there. Um, this is just the set of all combinations. Any filter that you make where you don't change any values is just all combinations. I'm just going to remove that and stick with our top 20. By clicking opposite, would mean that the results of the filter are applied in exactly the opposite of anything that would have uh, been applied had you not clicked this checkbox. So for our simple example here, the opposite of the top 20% would be every combination that is not in the top 20%, which would be the bottom 80%. We're gonna leave that just top 20%. When you click apply filters, it applies all of the filters in the filter list together using the logic that you specified and we'll filter the list of combinations shown down here in this list view. You can see that all combinations are 1,225 in a game of Hold'em on this uh, particular street, which is just a preflop. And as soon as I apply that, that number will change. There are 144 combinations that are in the top 20% of your opponent's range. You can see all the combinations that passed your set of filters. And by default, the pass checkbox is checked. If you'd like to instead uncheck that and check fail, it will show all the combinations that failed. And that number uh, added together with the first number that you saw will be the total number. You can select both and see them all together. And then lastly, used are combinations that your opponent cannot hold because uh, one of the cards that is visible, so in a game like Hold'em, it's your whole cards. In a game like Raz, it might be an up card of another opponent. Um, a Jack of Diamonds and a Queen of Hearts, for example, is in every one of these used combinations. So you can see Queen of Hearts, Jack of Diamonds. And so these combinations, while mathematically are combinations of cards, are not combinations of cards that can be in your opponent's range. So there's not really a lot to do with the used combinations. It's there for completeness but you can uh, just take a look at it if you'd like to. Okay, from here, you can browse through these combinations by clicking the down arrow or the up arrow. You can view a particular combination by just typing in the box, like we wanna see combination 100, and then just tab off of that field or click elsewhere, and it will calculate that. And then, you can also see other information about these combinations instead of just the combination string represented here. And a note on this that um, Q is queen, J is jack, S is spade, D is diamond, etc. T stands for 10, and that's just because it's a single character, so it maintains the, uh, the nice formatting here. So you can also hover over on the right side and add another column. And for example, we had filtered on uh, the strength of your opponent's hand. So we might want to show something like high strength. And other videos will show the different uh, columns and, and what their values mean. And so high strength uh, is a percentage. And so 2.17 is about 2%, just a little bit, a little bit more than 2%. And remember, this is the top uh, percentage. So this is top 2%. So a pair of queens is pretty, pretty strong, pretty high up there in your opponent's range. But every number shown here should be uh, in the top 20. So you shouldn't see any number larger than 21. Now, as you can see, as I scroll through, the numbers uh, don't necessarily go in order. We go 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, I guess they are here. But you can change which order they are shown in. 
uh, by selecting a uh, one or a two. This is the priority of which column gets sorted on first. By default, it sorts on the combinations. Uh, if it wasn't sorting on high strength already, you can go ahead and click on one to enforce that it will sort on high strength first. You can click on two for combination. By default, it already is doing this, but you can click on it to enforce that. And then you can uh, click on ascending or descending to either go from weakest to strongest or strongest to weakest in this case, uh, in numeric order of whatever is shown in the column. And you can keep adding more columns. Uh, something like, uh, let's say, just result. And result is just the pass or fail of whether or not it was uh, passing your filters or failing your filters.